Welcome! This video feature is an even closer look at Christian Peterson's early career and his works of art from 1907 to 1923. For more survey information on Peterson's early career, see our video, Christian Peterson, Early Career, on the University Museum's YouTube channel. As we work towards building a legacy and body of work by Peterson in the permanent collection, University Museum staff is also working on the Christian Peterson Catalogue Raisonné project, a publication of all known works of art by Peterson spanning his whole career. Most on ISU's campus are familiar with Peterson's iconic sculptures like the Fountain of the Four Seasons, but few realize that his time in Iowa came mid-career. Take a few minutes with me to discover Peterson's life and artwork from 1907 to 1923. In 1907, Christian Peterson began his commission work as a die cutter for the Robbins Company in Attleboro, Massachusetts, which specialized in jewelry, medallions, and metal objects. Peterson's works as a die cutter, design artist, and intaglio engraver for several years with that company. An early work of art for Robbins is a medal of the Greek goddess Athena holding a branch, with, owl, with an owl on the stack of books and a lamp on a pedestal. This medal was created in 1915 and later cast multiple times by the Robbins company. In 1907, Peterson would meet longtime friend George Nerney. He would be a steadfast friend for the next 54 years and encourages Peterson's ambitions as a fine art sculptor throughout his life. In 1908, Peterson would marry his first wife, Emma Hockney. In 1909, on July 24th, his first daughter, Helene, would be born in Attleboro, Massachusetts. By 1910, Peterson's residence was listed as Newark, New Jersey. And in 1911 through 1912, Peterson would attend art classes at the Rhode Island School of Design. In 1912, the birth of his son Lawrence was on July 31st in Attleboro, followed in 1915 on April 4th with the birth of his daughter Ruth in Attleboro. In 1916, Peterson creates a bas-relief portrait of the United States Supreme Court Justice Charles Evans Hughes, this was made for the L.G. Balfour Company of Attleboro, Massachusetts, and cast by the famous Gorham Company, uh, the bronze division of that company, in Providence, Rhode Island, from an original that Peterson created in Walnut. Peterson also goes on, in 1916, to create a sculptural relief portrait of his friend and painter, Caleb Arnold Slade. This would be the first of many bas-reliefs and sculptures that would be cast at that famous Gorham Company over a 30-year period. In 1916, an article was written by William MacDonald of the Boston Transcript. The title was The Rise of a New Paul Revere. The article appeared in June 23, 1918. A quote from that article reads, One of the very impressive facts about this man's work is its grasp of reality, with which we all are acquainted, its expression of life in terms that we instantly understand. If art implies the contagion of interest, then this is art. Arnold Slade, the painter, now a first lieutenant in the United States Reserve, has his portrait done in relief by Peterson and remarked afterwards that the latter modeled as if he were writing. When the work did not suit him, he took it out and remade it with the certainty of a man who understands his mistakes and knows exactly what to do to remedy it. His likeness, his likeness of Lieutenant Slade is remarkable and worthy of a subject whose own art has now made him a familiar name. In 1917, Peterson goes on to create the sculpture Josiah Everett Draper. This is accepted at the annual exhibition of the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. Also in 1917, he created this medal, the Doughboy of World War I. The medal shows a soldier bayonetting a grotesque beast, or a dragon, attacking a woman which represented Europe. The medal was struck by the L.G. Balfour Company of Attleboro, Massachusetts. In 1918, during the spring, Christian Peterson created the Attleboro War Chest a large theatrical prop for collecting war donations from the citizens of Attleboro, Mass., for soldiers overseas. During this year, he also designed the General John Pershing Medal, 
cast by the Whitehead and Ho Company of Newark, New Jersey, for several years to follow. In 1918, he additionally designed a Roll of Honor for World War I monument in Attleboro, Mass., which was commissioned by the Tilden Thurber Company of Providence, Rhode Island, and once again cast by the Gorham Company in 1918. The year 1919 was busy for Peterson. He designed this medal, Liberty, Justice, Peace, and Honor, for the L.G. Balfour Company of Attleboro, Mass. He was also commissioned for his first known public sculpture for the city of Attleboro, the Janie Flynn Memorial, a bas-relief created to commemorate a nurse who died during the civilian influenza epidemic of 1918 for the Taunton State Hospital in Taunton, Mass. He also sculpted and cast in bronze editions of a memorial bas-relief for President Theodore Roosevelt, who died January 6th. Peterson would create several works of art depicting Abraham Lincoln over the ensuing decades, including plaques, bas-reliefs, sculpture, and a medal. Lincoln was a very popular subject of the time period, and so Peterson was doing what many artists were doing in making artwork of the deceased president. In 1920, Peterson is commissioned to create several bronze works of art of portrait busts of former Rhode Island governors. This included Emery Sansusi, Aaron Porter, and R.L. Beckman. Around 1920, Peterson becomes associated with the Boston sculptors Henry Hudson Kitson and Theo Alice Ruggles Kitson. Peterson worked as an assistant in the Quincy, Massachusetts studio of sculptor Kitson, an, associated, an association which brought Peterson sculpture commissions, including those from the state of Iowa. Also around 1920, the bear sculpture you see here was created possibly as a memorial for Yellowstone Christian Park, Peterson or also for the Brown a plaque of his younger mascot. sister, Anna Peterson, Around 1921, would go on to marry Peterson Josiah created Everett Draper, a, sculpture called a jeweler from a long wife. line of silversmiths Its location based in Attleboro, is currently Massachusetts. Unknown. However, it was mentioned in an American Art News article on Saturday, May 14th in 1921. Around 1920, Christian Peterson creates a plaque of his younger sister, Anna Frederica Peterson. Anna Peterson would go on to marry Harold Walcott Draper, a jeweler and son of Josiah Everett Draper, from a long line of silversmiths based in Attleboro, Massachusetts. From 1922 to 1923, Peterson lives and works in Providence, Rhode Island, at 144 Westminster Street. A 1922 article from the National Magazine states, He is an artist who has not been able to sculpt when his fancy decreed. However, great his desire. A die cutter by trade, and now a resident in Attleboro, Massachusetts, Mr. Peterson, if anyone, expounds the value of patience. Only through like perseverance are great masters made. This concludes our closer look at Christian Peterson's early career. Learn more about Peterson's Iowa and Iowa State campus impacts in our next video segments. For additional information on Christian Peterson, visit our website at museums.iastate.edu and our online e-museum collection of Christian Peterson's works of art. Thank you.